I chose to be in the Garage Expert franchise because I thought it would be just a different idea going into this and a lot of hard work put in, but ultimately it was a good decision. I was, I wouldn't say one of the earlier ones, but somewhat one of the earlier ones. So I know that on everybody's uh, radar, it's a learning curve for everybody. So as far as the actual training, the best training you could possibly do is on site. To go out there, see what the materials are. You're learning from guys that are out there doing it every day. And that's really where you're gonna get most of your knowledge from. We got a pre-shift checklist, which is also a good structure as far as you know, showing up to work in the morning. And the guys are teaching them, hey, when you get here, this is how you're gonna do it. And they're just teaching each other, but the questions I'm asking are pretty basic. Is he a helper or is he gonna be a guy that can grow? Listening and then putting them you know, with the right people is really you know, ideal. A lot of these guys here that are just, you know, they answer every phone call and basically hunt out the, the best of the best, find out exactly how they're doing it, what I could do better. Years later, that's what's happening with me. So a lot of these new guys are calling me and saying, what are you doing? And, you know, and it's fun to see guys that call me and within months, they're already surpassing me. So it's, it's pretty awesome. You write down that goal and you just try to beat it. And one of my biggest wins was, uh, tearing my ACL and I couldn't walk. And that was exactly when I was like, okay, I can't walk, gotta do business. That was my first time I hired somebody. From there, it's history, because you find the one person and you find the second person, the third person. And if it weren't for tearing an ACL, who knows how long I would have went. So I would try to get to a point where you're replacing yourself from day one. You're trying to run your business, but not work in it. It's a hard business. Anybody that thinks that, you know, running your own business is easy is very much mistaken. There is no days off. Saturday, Sunday, you know, people wonder what I'm doing on my phone freaking out at Sunday night at 10 o'clock. It's never ending. And I say it all the time, the second that I stop changing and stop doing things different is the second that everybody should be scared because then I stop caring. It's pretty amazing to, to know how many people I've met and would do things you know, for other people that I've never met before just because I know that we're having the same issues thousands of miles away. I've met a lot of good friends. The support is always there with uh, in, in corporate, but um, it is the support of all of us that really, we won't let you fail. And you can do it, essentially. You know, Just put in a lot of work and remember that it's not gonna come easy and uh, there will be a peak and you will overcome it.